Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I quickly show you how to normal paint in uh, paint system version 2.0 that's right we are now arriving at version 2.0 and we have officially ah uh, our paint system is now on the extensions yay yeah you know you can now download paint system from uh, extensions.blender.org and you can click here and then drag and drop into your blender and then yeah you can install from there or you can install it from edit preferences and get extensions and you know just search your paint system over here um either way paint system is now on the extension i'm very excited to announce this because paint system has also been updated to version 2.0 and a lot of people has been questioning how do i paint the normal because um, well, Paint System version 1.0 originally uh, supported normal painting, but it's so hard and weak to do that a lot of people are confused about how it's done. And so, now with Paint System uh, version 2.0, it is much, much easier to paint the normal. So, let's just get right into it, okay? So, I will just go ahead and click Add Paint System right over here. And you can see this is the usual. Um, new group template whatever this is yeah just adding paint system to your material and stuff and i can click normal painting from the template over here or you can just go with basics but i will go with normal painting because this video is about about normal painting so um or you can choose this new one called the pbr i will show this uh maybe um later on in this video but yeah i will show you the normal painting first and then click ok <laughs> and now can toggle paint mode like this and you will see that i've got a cube over here that i can paint on top but um with this new uh paint system version 2 we've got this new button over here which is the preview active shadow button so once you click it you will see the normal right over here so i can just click i to sample the colors and stuff and i was for like sample this color maybe and i want to import the paint system brush because i i love the brush and maybe increase the size and then just paint it like this yeah just just like that almost so easy click i i and just paint just like that almost too easy now um i can also randomize the color right over here and maybe if i increase this to um 0.6 and change this to stroke and i can sample this one and yeah just just like that just making random strokes like that almost too easy right okay okay i think this is done so now once you have done uh painting your normal uh you can just click this button once again to unpreview the active channel and now you see the yeah the result looks like this and that's it that's that's basically it so um what's happening behind the scene is that um blender i uh, might not sorry not blender um uh, paint system uh used to force you to plug this node in and it can be very hard because um so people assume that paint system uh, when you use paint system um, you don't need to deal with any nodes and stuff but when it comes to normal painting you have to uh, well change the node manually which is not not intuitive at all so I implement this button to just basically do that for you yeah just switch the output and the uh, diffuse BSDF and that connect that to the material output and that's basically it just toggling between two of these and you know once you want to edit some normals you can toggle it on and you know just paint some more and stuff like this and once you're done you just can just turn that off just like that it's very very easy now um there's a new thing in paint system uh which is channels now you can add as many channels as you like so what is channels so i want to show you the pbr template that uh, paint system 2.0 adds so if i just choose pbr right over here as you can see we can paint the color metallic roughness and you know i'll just enable roughness and you know just leave metallic right there and then click ok 
And once I've done that, uh, the things here over here looks very similar to what we did in the past. But as you can see now, we have this channel pop up. And you can see, you can change the channel of your painting, you know, of your layers and stuff. So um, if I want to paint the color channel, I can just uh, toggle paint mode and I just can just paint the color channel just like that. And if I want to go to paint the roughness, I can just, yeah, go to roughness and just paint. Whoops, I have to add a new layer first. Okay. Paint the roughness just like that. And you can see the roughness I paint. Yeah, it looks like that. And I can go ahead, just like uh, the normal, normal painting um, template. I can also paint normal over here. So I can do this, click import paint system brush and you know just paint oh, oh yeah the new layer right okay um paint the normal just like that almost too easy yeah like usual um paint system is designed to be as easy to use as possible and i want to keep it that way and yeah i want to improve um on it and yeah this is what i've um came up with it i hope it's easy <laughs> yeah i I'll, i want your i want you guys feedback on um you know just use paint system how do you feel about it uh where can i improve paint system i honestly i've been really um i've been uh very stale <laughs> i've not uh, updated paint system in a long while have not read uh, a lot of comments because um because i have to do a lot of things uh nowadays and yeah things got in the way but yeah i want to update paint system and you know just to create this video just to update you guys on the uh the new version of paint system yeah i i still want to improve paint system and i want to improve the add-ons and you know just make you guys lives uh better <laughs> with blender and you know that's blender is a very very amazing software but it can be better you know it can be better so that's why i created paint system and yeah that's basically it that's there's a lot of other features inside uh, blender sorry uh inside paint system 2.0 like layer actions over here so um well just yeah let's introduce layer action a little bit because this is very new um so layer, layer actions is basically actions that binds your timeline currently so for example if i press m and create a marker right over here and uh the well let me just add another camera right here and then well, let me just add a new marker bind this camera to the marker and then bind this one to this marker just like that and so the idea of um, uh, le the layer actions is that um, you know in Arcane, right? Uh, where they change the camera angle, uh, the that they use a new what is it called? They use a new paint over. Let's say. Um, so let's just go over here. Let me just demonstrate how this works. So let me go to the color channel and just toggle paint mode like this okay so i will add another layer click ok and i'll paint something like a smiley face right over here okay let me paint a smiley face like that almost greasy right so i will now add a layer action so i will enable this layer on the marker the f01 or i can just name this to whatever I want and then click OK so when the you know when the time or sorry the frame reached this marker this layer will be enabled and if I want to disable the layer you know once I change this camera angle I can just add another uh, layer action so I will add this go to F30 and then disable once we reach F30 marker so now you can see once we reach F30 that layer is gone it's, it's now gone yeah 
and I can add a new layer image click OK and maybe I'll add another smiley face that is better aha just like that very awesome smiley face so I will, ha I will have to add uh, a layer action over here also so F1 will be disabled for this one and F30 will be enabled for this one so we want to enable this new layer on F30 instead so now we've got these two layers and you can see just like that now the yeah this is basically the layer actions you can add actions you know to enable and disable layers according to the marker or the frame like this you can change this to frame and just uh, pick a number of the frame it's just like that so currently uh, the layer action only supports the um, enabling and disabling layers maybe we can add a new action to this layer action features but I have no idea so that's you guys <laughs> that's your jo you guys job to introduce suggest me what layer actions I need to add okay yeah just just suggest me on the comments and I will try to add um, yeah I'll, I'll try to read most of them and yeah I'll try to add them if it is very very cool if I think it's wow this idea is very good so yeah I'll add those yeah so this is basically it this is paint system version 2.0 there are some more things behind the scenes like the new layers and stuff but yeah I've, um, I'm out of time for now and I hope you guys have fun with this paint system oh yeah um, make sure uh, that if you want to update to the new extension thing you have to um, delete paint system from the add-on first so just delete paint system and then once you've deleted paint system you can now just search for paint system in the search extension bar right over here and then just install from here you know so yeah that's basically it I hope you guys have fun with paint system and you know with your art journey and yeah this is basically it thank you so much for watching bye bye